Hey YouTube, Ashbug1996 here. So I decided to, well, I was scrolling through Netflix and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I've never seen this version of Phantom of the Opera before, so why don't I watch it and then, like, tell you guys what I think of it because the ones I'm used to ha are, like, the musical ones, like the one in 2004 and the 2011 at the Royal Albert Hall, and ones like that. But this one was no, it wasn't a musical, it was made in 1989, and because I've never read the book, I don't know if it's true to the actual book, or if this was just someone else's version of it. But pretty much what happened is Christine... Is not Daya this time, it was Christine Day. She was looking for a song to sing for an audition. And she happened to find Don Hahn Triumphant, which was the play that Phantom wrote, whose name was Eric. And pretty much she used that for her audition. And she got, but during her audition, she got knocked out because Joseph, the guy who was up in the catwalk, something accidentally. Fell. I think it was like one of the sand weights that hold down the scene, but it fell and it hit her in the head. So she was knocked out. And then it like flashes back to like the 1800s where it would be like the normal fans with the opera would take place instead of the 1980s, 1990s type area. But here's the thing. This phantom doesn't wear a mask. What he does instead is everyone knows the Phantom kills people who gets in his way of making Christine a huge star. Well, he takes bits and pieces, like he skins his victims, he skins them. Like something you would see in Hannibal Lecter or some weird thing like that. But he skins his victims, and he uses bits and pieces of their flesh, to, like, and he sews them on his own face. <coughs> so, it's weird. And how he got Carlotta to leave was... He stored this skinned dead victim in her closet and then controlled the body to, like, grab her and start choking her, causing her to have a heart attack. And then, yeah, this is just some real just freaky, freaky stuff. This wasn't normal phantom. All I gotta say is, if you don't have a strong stomach, do not watch this at all. Because there is a scene where they do a close-up of his face, where the stitches are and everything, where he had stitched those pieces of skin to his face, and he's cutting those pieces off slowly and slowly. And it's just... Oh, it's gross. And... Then it's like, he take, like, there. this isn't a musical at all, there's no music at all, except this is all based around the play that he wrote, Don Juan Triumphant. So, so that's like the only area where there's music. And it's just, it's freaky. And because when he takes her down to his lair, and it's not Raul, it's Richard, which I don't like at all. And then, like... He sets Richard on fire, like, he pushes Richard into his candle and sets him on fire alive, like, he's burning alive, and then he stabs him in the stomach, and killing him, and then what Christine does is she grabs a gun at the very end and, like, shoots the shit out of the other fan- out of the phantom, killing him, and- then she wakes up, so you're just like, oh my god, this whole thing was just a dream? She just dreamed up this phantom? No, that's not the case at all. 
the the producer who is wearing a different face so you don't know he's the phantom invites her out to dinner she finds Duan, Don, Don Juan triumphant realizes it's the phantom realizes he's using a different face and at the very end r takes like where he has the face like attached to him and rips it off straight down like skinning him alive and just like and then she stabs him, like, she stabs him, like, ten times. She's, oh, my God. This was so freaky. I can definitely tell why this version of Phantom was rated R. And then there was a point where the Phantom tried to rape Christine. And I'm like, what? Like, I know you're in love with her, dude, but no. Just no. So, I'm a tiny bit scarred from that movie. A little bit. I had to stop it, like, when there was maybe 30 minutes left. Take a break, and then I continued watching it again. So I could finish it. But, oh my god. I'm just not... I mean, it was a good movie, like... It wasn't true to the storyline. Like, if you've ever seen The Silence of the Lambs, which was a movie I watched a few days ago, um, it's kind of like Buffalo Bill, where he would just skin his victims and leave them there for you to find. She's freaky. Like, because I've never read the book, I don't know if this is what happened in the book. So, yeah. But if there's a movie that you guys have seen that you'd like me to do a, a review on or a vlog on it, leave it down in the comments down below and I will see what I can do. Alright, peace out YouTube. Or if you have any questions about like this movie other than what I said in the vlog, just PM me or leave it down below and I'll answer it. Alright, peace out YouTube.